day three, January 3rd, National Chocolate Cherry Day. I don't know if you're a big fan of chocolate covered cherries, I can take them or leave them. But today, we're going to actually try to make them at home ourselves. Now, we're not making the cordial kind that has that little liquid center that pours out when you bite into it or break it open. We're doing more of the cream centered ones. So it's the cherry wrapped with this cream dough sugary thing and then we're going to dip them in chocolate and then we're going to lay them out and then we're going to see how it comes out. I don't know. Never made chocolate covered cherries before. But if it works out, it's a great idea to maybe make them for Valentine's Day. You got plenty of time to try them, fail them, try them, fail them until you get them right. Alrighty, let's see what we need today. Okay, so our ingredients for today are a 10 ounce jar of maraschino cherries, drained and patted dry with paper towel. We have a cup and a quarter of confection sugar or powdered sugar, three tablespoons of salted butter, two tablespoons of milk, an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla, and you can either do dark chocolate or milk chocolate. You decide. Alrighty, let's get started. So we know what we need for this recipe. So we're gonna take a, a bigger bowl to use to mix in. We're gonna take our cup and a quarter powdered sugar. We're gonna take our three tablespoons of butter, which we melted in the microwave because we want that to be able to mix in. Okay, we're gonna do our two tablespoons of milk. And we're gonna do our eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla. So once that's all in there, you just mix it all together. What we want to do is make a sugary dough out of this, okay? All right, so we had our first challenge of the year so far. The recipe that I'm following wasn't turning out the way it's supposed to turn out. Uh, there was seemed to be not enough powdered sugar to make this sugar dough to this consistency where it's a dough or like a dough anyway there's no flour in it so it's not really a dough um, so what I had to keep doing was just keep adding a little more sugar and a little more powdered sugar and a little more powdered sugar and a little more powder until I got it to where I wanted it uh, because it was just too liquidy it wasn't I, I need to be able to roll this um, to cover the cherries and it was like a, a wet mixture that like when you dunked it here I'll show you when you dunk it it didn't really coat the cherry and it kind of most of it ran off. So we don't want that because what we're going to do is roll it and then wrap the cherries. You'll see. We'll get to that next. Okay, so for our next step, we got our cherries. We got our sugar mixture here. So what we're going to do is just break off a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot because these cherries aren't really big. I wish I would have got the bigger maraschino cherries, but unfortunately when I got home and I looked at them, they're these tiny little things. So, But we'll make them do. We'll make do. Make do. So what you do is, we want to, I guess I'll show you that again. Take a little bit of the sugar mixture, the sugar dough, roll it into a ball. Then you want to press it down to kind of flatten it a bit. And then what you're going to do is take one of your cherries and stick it in the middle there. And then you're just going to kind of fold this dough around your cherry. Now it may stick a little bit to your hand, but just it'll peel right off. Okay. So there's your little thing, and then you want to just make sure your cherry is covered, you know, covered all the way around, and then just try to shape it as best you can. Obviously, the more you work with this dough and the warmth of your hand, it starts to get kind of tacky and messy. Um, but here, look, there you go. Just roll it around in your bowl from the stem, just to kind of round it out a little bit, make it a little neater looking. Um, but we're going to dip these anyway, and hopefully they they look better. But anyway, there, see? there's a little one wrapped in dough. Put it on a parchment-lined cookie sheet, and just do them all, and then we get to the next step. Alrighty, don't go anywhere. Alright, so, moving along, I did about 15 uh, cherries. This is definitely not a labor of love, this project, but we're not quitting. We're going to see it through to the end and see how it is. Uh, so we wrapped a bunch of about 15 cherries. Now you take these and you put this tray in the freezer for an hour. And then we're going to take them out. And that's when the fun begins and we start dipping. Alrighty. 
See you in an hour. Okay, so our cherries are in the freezer for almost an hour now. we got about another 5-10 minutes and then we'll take those out and start dipping. So now we have our dark chocolate and our milk chocolate. I think we're just going to go with one today because it's turning out this project is a little too labor intensive and a little too wacky that it's not necessarily going the way it's supposed to go. But anyway, that's what happens with this show. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But we're not going to quit and we're just going to keep going. Never know, they might turn out really good in the end. Okay, so I found this warmer thing that I didn't even know I had. You ever look through your cabinets and all of a sudden you find a gadget that you didn't even realize you had in the house, where it came from or anything? Well, anyway, I found this electric warmer. And I'm assuming it's for chocolates and stuff because it comes with these non-stick little pots that sit right in here. And you melt your chocolate. Which works out pretty good considering the other method is you put it in the microwave or you do a double boil around the stove, which I really don't feel like doing either one of those. Um, and since I've never used this thing before because I didn't even know I had it, we're going to try it today. So I put it on low. It's got a low or a high setting. I put it on low while we've got about 10 minutes for our cherries. And I'm going to take the dark chocolate chips and I'm going to put some in there. I'm not even going to put the full cup, maybe half a cup. And we'll start with that, and uh, maybe we'll do both now, since I got two little pots to do it in, so I won't have to wash it out in between. So anyway, we're going to let this melt a little bit, and we'll be back as soon as we're ready with the cherries, the chocolate, ready to dip. I hope this project gets better, because so far, it's a pain in the ass. Alright, so our cherries are out of the freezer. They are definitely firm now, uh, so that should make it good for dipping, okay? And that we put them on the parchment so they'd come right off. They wouldn't stick there. Uh, this thing's turning out to be pretty cool. This thing that I didn't even know I had. This chocolate melter thing. Uh, it melted the dark chocolate really nice. So now we're going to dip. Now, a lot of you may know if you've done chocolate dipping before or uh, on your stove in a double boiler. Um, they do say, I've never done it, but they do say that if you get any kind of water or moisture in your chocolate, it makes the chocolate seize up. I'm praying that this doesn't happen when we start dipping these because they're cold and, you know, if the hot chocolate goes on it, will it make it melt? I don't know. We're going to try to find out. Let's just hope it all goes well, okay? So what I'm going to do is take one of my cherries, hold it by the stem, and I guess maybe we'll just drizzle the chocolate on. I don't know if we should dip it or, well, I'm going to dip it. What the hell? Okay, and I'm just going to use a spoon to... Make sure, since there's, it's not dipping uh, deep enough, to cover it. Or maybe I'll just dip it like that. I don't know. It's all trial and error. I've never done this one before. Okay, so look. There's a chocolate covered cherry. Now, granted, it's not real pretty. It's not perfectly round. <laughs> like the ones you get in the box. Uh, but we're going to try it anyway. So there's a dark chocolate one. All right. Our cherries are done. We put them back in the fridge after we chocolate dipped them just to harden the chocolate back up. That's what they look like. Now, they're not as pretty as the ones you get in a box. The store-bought kind. Eh, but they look all right. Better than I thought they were going to come out. So now, let's try one and see. Dark milk, dark milk. Hmm. I guess we'll try one of the milk chocolate ones. I'm more of a milk chocolate person than a than a dark chocolate person. Actually, I like white chocolate the best, but that's not even really chocolate, they say. Not my opinion. I like my white chocolate. Anyway, all right, so let's see what we got here. There's a milk chocolate cherry. Let's cut into it and see what it looks like. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. I mean, it looks like one of those cream-filled chocolate cherries. Not the cordial ones with all the liquid oozing out of it, but yeah. So, let's see. Let's see what we got here. You know what? That tastes just like the ones out of the box. Wow. Flavor-wise, it's right on target. Only problem is, it's so damn sweet. You better really like some really sweet 
chocolate filled something if you're going to eat these. I mean the flavor is good but it's just very very sweet. So there it is. In conclusion, is this something that we'd make again? Eh, probably not. They're okay. But for all the work you got to do and all the stuff you got to buy to make them and then sit here and work on this project, I'd rather just go buy a box of store-bought chocolate covered cherries. Call it a day. Alrighty, you decide. It's fun to try though. You never know. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. See you tomorrow.